about you, but I just cannot wait for spring and spring fashions. I'm tired of my winter stuff. You probably are too. Kathy Acock is with us. She is a personal shopper at Dillard's at the Mall at Green Hills, and she's going to tell us what we ought to be putting away, getting rid of, and what things to look for to look really in style for spring. Well, you know, trends get tired, and I think there are a few trends that everybody loved, and we've all invested in them. If you still have them, wear them, but maybe don't buy any more. Okay. I think we're seeing cold shoulder kind of fade away, mm -hmm. and we're seeing a lot of still the embellished sleeve. You're going to see a lot of that. Also, we're seeing a lot less, they used to call it body con, mm -hmm. body conscious, very tight spandexy dressing. Mm -hmm. You're seeing a lot more floaty silhouettes, especially a longer skirt that floats with a with a top that really emphasizes the waist. Mm -hmm. um, so the really tight clothes, um, the cold shoulder, those are things that I think we're gonna see move off the fashion plate. And things that we're gonna see move on definitely are gonna be things that are very brightly colored. You're going to see a lot of bright color. That whole pink trend is going to turn up a notch, be a little bit brighter. So if you have the millennial pink, you can still pair it with a lot of things. But look at those bright colors. Look at those fun silhouettes. Um, maybe not so much of the cold shoulder. And look, try, adapt your eye to a different cut. Pants are starting to get high-waisted and, and bigger legged. And it takes a season or two for consumers to get used to that look, but it is trending. It's going to move forward for the next two or three seasons. So if you buy now, you'll be ahead of the curve and you can wear it for two or three years. All right, let's talk more about silhouette uh, because obviously you have to take your body type into consideration. What silhouettes are big and, and who should wear them? You know, I believe that there's a way for everyone to wear almost every silhouette. You, it's a, it is almost about inches and it's just the tiniest little tweak that can work. Some people are short, but they have a long waist. So maybe their legs are short. So I'm gonna put them in something that's gonna emphasize their leg without making their body look disproportionate. Mm -hmm. So there's a way that almost everyone can wear a wide leg pant. One key look is if you're petite, you need that pant to go all the way to the floor, almost brush the floor. Okay. Because the eye doesn't know that you're wearing a heel. All the eye sees is that long leg. So it instantly creates a longer silhouette. And yet some pant legs need to stop shorter, they right? Do, because now, is that not working for a petite frame? You know, if you're petite and you balance your bottom half with your top half. In other words, if you wear a pant that is very skinny and stops at the ankle, then you need to have something on the upper half that sort of balances that, mm -hmm. like a shoulder pad, some waist detail, something that gives you more of a, of a curved silhouette versus a short and stumpy leg silhouette. Okay, if you're already curvy, what will accentuate your look and what will minimize the things that you see are flaws? Curvy women can still wear a skinny pant, but truly their best friend is going to be a wide leg, high-waisted pant okay. that emphasizes their waist. Because most of the time, curvy women are very Kardashian-like. They have a tiny waist, mm -hmm. and then they're curvy on top and bottom. So you want to really silhouette that waist. You want to wear jackets that stop at the waist, not a jacket that's long and cuts into the leg, or even a double-breasted jacket. You want the waist to be your prime real estate. Okay, some really good tips. And if you need some help shopping, Kathy would love to do that for you. It's a free service. We thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. We're going to put Kathy's information on our website if you'd like to find out more.